Okay, so we just figured out how to save a hundred thousand dollars or more on our client's campaign while most likely doubling the results. Here's how we're gonna do it. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman. I talk about the world's most exciting sales, business, and marketing strategies so that both you and I can grow our businesses better. This is an experimentation channel. I like to share all the things that I find in my career as the leader of a marketing agency as well as a few other brands. And today we're talking about influencer marketing, but don't click off yet because this is a very different influencer marketing than you are used to. So we do a variety of different types of influencer marketing in my agency, Good Monster. You know, we do, uh, you know, the large scale influencer marketing where we're paying, um, you know, larger celebrity type influencers for collaborations and even sponsorships. We do kind of medium level or mid level influencer marketing where it's much more like $500 per post. But then we have a new kind of influencer marketing that we have been doing that is incredible, quite frankly. <laughs> it's, it's wild how well it works. Uh, and I'm pretty sure if I have to predict the future, over the next six months, especially with kind of the economy where it's where it's headed at the end of 2022 into 2023, this is going to be so much more cost effective, so much more results benefited. Is that a word? I don't even know. I don't know. We're going to get better results. And I'm super excited because it's great for small brands, startups, challengers, as well as as huge brands. And the strategy is relatively simple. It's not new, but it's, it has to be done very specifically in, in order to make it work. And you have to have a particular mindset to understand why it works. And the strategy is sending free products to nano and micro influencers to get them to create content. But you might be thinking, yeah, duh, I know that. But it's not to get the awareness from the influencers. It's to get the UGC content that you can use to deploy over on paid media so that you can test what the market loves to see from a creative standpoint, double down on the creatives that are performing the best, and then use that as creative direction to in turn create your own organic content. So it's the system is why I'm so excited and it's the system that's working. So let's break it down, okay? So let's take a brand uh, selling anything. Let's just say they're selling you know, organic cleaning products and the cost of goods is $5 for the product, the retail is $20, let's say, right? Taking a kind of a typical 4X, you know, pricing strategy for a, for a retail company or a retail brand rather. Okay, so it's $5 to make it. Let's say it's another $5 to ship it. So every nano and micro influencer that you're sending a product to costs $10. So nano and micro, uh, the definitions are basically a tiny influencer with a very small following but engaged, it's usually friends and family, right? 500, 1,000 followers, maybe something like that. A micro influencer maybe is up to 10,000 followers, depends on who you ask, but these are relatively small influencers. They're generally not doing this for a living, but they love free products, right? And the power of gratitude and reciprocation will kick in and a good portion of them will post your content for free and create content. So here's how we break it down. It's $10 to send a product out. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna reach out to a thousand influencers across Instagram, and TikTok, maybe Twitter, maybe YouTube. You're gonna offer to send them a free product. Say something simple like, hey, found your profile, been consuming your content, but been devouring your content for the past few days. Love what you're up to. Uh, we'd love to work with you. Are you interested? And they're gonna reply, if they reply, I should say. They're gonna reply and they're gonna say, uh, yeah, sounds interesting. What are you guys offering? And then you go in and you say, you know, we'd love to send you a free product. All we ask is that you post one to two times so that we might use the content in our own marketing. Out of those thousand, you're probably going to get 200 that say yes. Um, again, it's general, it depends on the industry, but you're probably gonna get 200 that say yes or respond. Two to 300, I would say. Um, and it also depends on how you message them. If you direct message them on social, you may get a reply. If you're able to find their email, uh, you're much more likely to get a reply. If you can go into the creator marketplaces on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, that's a great place because if they sign up to be a creator, then you know they're already looking to actively invest time and resources into their social media. So they're more likely to willing to work with you. Uh, so you can find these influencers across social media, message them, 
And again, you'll get about 200 to 300 to say yes. Then you go ahead and you ship out two to 300. So the cost there is going to be, what's that, 2,000 to 3,000? Okay, so 200 times 10, yeah, 2,000 to $3,000. So you might be thinking, whoa, that's 2,000 to $3,000 in product and shipping, like that's a lot out of pocket. But think about the amount of pieces of content, the amount of content that you're going to get made for you. So the alternative is paying a videographer and a photographer, maybe even a designer. Uh, if you get really good ones, you're gonna be paying $20,000 a month anyways to have them create your own content. And even then it's subjective to those one, two, three creatives that you're hiring. So it's one person, one person, one person, one designer, one photographer, one videographer who's creating what they think is best for your brand, but have no clue what the market wants, right? Instead, you're having the market create the content for you and then you're going to collect the, all of that content. So if you have 200 to 300 influencers that say yes, you ship it out, it's two to $3,000, you're probably going to get about 30% of them that actually follow through with it, unless you have somebody on your team that can follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, comment on their posts, direct message them, ask them when they're gonna post, all right? Then you can probably bump that up to about 50%. So let's assume you have somebody able to do that, or you have an agency able to do that. So out of those two to 300 people, now you're at 100 to 150 people that are going to post content and create content for you and your brand. And on average, they're gonna post one to three times. So let's just use the 100 people, Mark, let's say 100 people say yes, they post on average two times. That's 200 pieces of content that now are sent to your team, which now you're prepping and getting ready to use. Now, where are you gonna use it? You're going to run it on paid media. You're gonna run it TikTok ads, Facebook ads, manager on Instagram and, and Facebook, um, possibly on YouTube, depending on what kind of content it is. And you're going to run this, you're gonna run every single piece of creative. That's the key, and that's often where we get the most pushback at Good Monster. We get that pushback because brands want creative control, especially if there's a marketing director or even some businesses have kind of a creative person. They're gonna want creative control, but the key is to not have creative control. Of course, you're not gonna post or run any video or picture that makes your brand look bad or makes the, the product look bad, but don't overanalyze all the UGC content that you get, user-generated content, by the way, that's UGC content, because what you might think looks terrible. So here's an example. It's very common for brands to hate boomerangs. You know, the boomerang, the Instagram, like video filter where it's like reverses the video. So it's basically like, it goes like that over and over again, right? Like whatever the thing is, it's like going back and forth. Marketing people just think that's lazy. They just think like that's a stupid effect, but it's highly engaging for other people who are not marketers. So take all the UGC content and if something is like blurry or it's not great or it's a boomerang or it doesn't have context, can't really be put into an ad in the right way, you can always remix it. I got one story of a piece of content that we remixed that was a boomerang, but instead of just having it be like a boomerang and going like this, we remixed it with a track, like a, an EDM, like dubstep sort of track, right? So instead of just going back and forth like this, boom, 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 we put it to a track. So it was like remix. It was like, wicka, wicka, right? And it like made it more interesting. So you can tidy up that UGC content pretty easily, but the key is, to use it all because you don't know in today's market what will get somebody to care, what will get somebody to engage, what get, will get somebody to buy. So you take all of those 200 pieces of content and you deploy them across TikTok, Facebook ads managers, uh, YouTube ads managers. You set the targeting appropriately. Hopefully you have somebody managing your PPC and you measure what works based on your goal, whether it's sales, whether it's brand growth, brand awareness, measure it all, okay? Then what do you do? After you've run the 200 different pieces of content, you analyze the top 20%. You can use the Pareto principle, 80-20 rule, all right? It's because 20% of that content is going to result in 80% of the results, your business goals. So you take the top 20% and you file the other 80% away. You turn off those ads if they're not performing and you reallocate the dollars into the 20%. And then you analyze the 20% of the content and you pick out why the content is doing well based on the data. Then you go back to those same influencers 
those same nano and micro influencers and you say, wow, your content did amazing. We'd love to have a longer term relationship with you. And now you can establish a much more regular paid arrangement saying, we'd love to send you free products on a regular basis. We'd love to sign you up as an affiliate so that you get paid for you know recommending our products and creating content. And we'd also like to give you a small monthly stipend to just post once or twice a month. You know, it could be like a hundred bucks or something like that, right? So your costs go up a little bit, but you're gener- you've got a cash machine over here from the paid media content. And you begin to rinse and repeat this model. Every month you reach out to a thousand new nano and micro influencers. You send out two to 300 new products and you get 200 pieces of UGC content every month, all while still running the top 20% from the previous month and the month before that and the month before that until the attribution wears off from those ads. Okay, so it's sort of like a snowball effect. You start building your content library so that you have thousands of UGC ads running and it's only the top 20%, so it's delivering results, you're generating cash over here, and here's the kicker. Then you take the creative principles, you find the top 10 points and things that are making this type of UGC creative work, and then you go over and you send it to your creative team or your agency, or you go and hire your content creators, and you have them begin to mimic the content created by these UGC so that you can post it organically, so that you can test out your own ads and you can expand and scale. So now you have an army of influencers who are recommending you as affiliates and posting your product as their content to build awareness. You're using all of that content to run paid media ads that are driving actual results and you have an internal creative team that is now able to use that creative to not only create social content but also use that kind of content framework to create emails highly effective email marketing, using the copy that the influencers are using to post your UGC content, using that as a copy framework and borrowing that language to deploy over on email, in other ads, in marketing campaigns, even offline marketing. The snowball effect and the funnel that this creates, not a funnel of customers, although it will, but a funnel of content is absolutely incredible. And as I said in the beginning of this video, we did the math on our last client that we were framing this up for, and it's gonna save them $112,000 in creative. $112,000 in creative. It's also going to generate two times as much creative. And that pocket of money that's saved, half of it can be reallocated to actual paid media dollars. So now we've just increased the available marketing budget. And because we're gonna be testing all of this, we're able to effectively guarantee a positive return on ad spend that can scale up. Nice. So the system is magical, absolutely magical. I'm super excited to expand this over the fourth quarter of 2022 and into 2023. I'll probably do another video, maybe in like three months or so, uh, popping back in to to probably be even more excited about how well this is working. But if you have any questions, leave some comments below, subscribe to the channel if you like sales, marketing, and business stuff. I'm gonna be much more authentic on this channel. I'm gonna be sharing some real cool like business ideas and cool stuff like that. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, don't forget, head over to my website, jtimmerman.com. I'm putting much more effort into my website, putting some, um, I'm basically taking all of the templates that we use in our agency, and I'm putting them over there for free. I just want your email address. <laughs> Uh, but seriously, I want your email address and I want it because I'm starting a newsletter. It's modeled after, uh, the hustle, a uh, big fan of Sam, uh, one of the founders uh, or the founder of the hustle, the hustle.co go check them out. Uh, but I'm going to be starting a newsletter over there about uh, pretty niche, like business, uh, marketing, you know, cool business ideas, just stuff that entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs and and sort of gig economy really cares about. So head over to jtimmerman.com, sign up for my newsletter over there, um, or, or download the free content uh, templates like um, cold call scripts, uh, marketing copy. Um, there's even ROI calculators over there, things like that. jtimmerman.com. Now, we'll see you in the next video.